Following the World Health Organization WHO recommendation to include male circumcision in two existing comprehensive HIV prevention programs in 2007, Cabinet approved the establishment of a national program. A national strategy was then put in place to run from 2011 to 2016 to complement government's target to reduce the HIV prevalence rate by 50% by 2016. However, it appears that men have not been forthcoming in certain regions. Regions such as Omaheke and Kunina recorded the highest circumcision rates of 57 and 52 percent respectively. But there is a great deal of variation across regions, with the rest having less than 10 percent of men circumcised. Notable variations are attributed to cultural norms and traditional practices, and those with high circumcision percentages are due to traditions, as some male children are already circumcised by the age of two. To accelerate circumcision among men, the Minister of Health and Social Services also launched a voluntary and free male circumcision project last year. The National Strategic Framework for HIV and AIDS Response has set a target of 450,000 or 80 percent of men to be circumcised by the end of 2016. Key conclusions are that scaling up male circumcision to reach 80 percent of adults and newborn males would avert almost 35,000 adult HIV infections by 2025.